Hi guys, if you click that thumbnail, you know where you reached. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am, oh marvelous one, Marvelous Madame in the flesh. Welcome back to my show. What I call the Marvelous Show. What's going on? This is going to be your top of the month love reading Aquarius. My beautiful aquas for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to my tribe, Al. okay. All right. If you want to know what's going on with the channel, if you want to know what's going on with the specials, if you want to know what's going on with anything of that nature, go ahead and check out your corresponding How Does Bay Feel About You for December of 2018. That video will be the only video in the series um, on the channel that has an intro. In that intro, I will talk about everything that's going on for the month. The top of the months and the mids do not have intro. So we're going to get right into it. This is going to be a five-card energy read. We're going to be examining the energies that surround you, Aqua, right now in your love life. We're going to be pulling those main energies, okay, with Rider weight. We're going to be clarifying those energies with Morgan Greer. Okay. If we need any additional clarification, we will be doing that with Gilded. Okay. Um, we will be pulling um, two Romance Angel Oracle cards for the board. And then we're going to go to the from to the bottom of the bottom of the bottom for a more solidified message. Okay. I also do those same three bottoms and all of the um, decks. Let's go. Universe, spirit, angels, and my guides, go ahead and give me a card that will represent the overall love theme for my Aquarius sun, moon, rising. In this top of the month period that I call, or I call the top of the month, that is going to represent the period, sorry guys, of the 1st through the 15th of December. Let's go. Show me, Spirit. I guess they did. Thank you, Spirit. Aqua. This could be the one. Okay. You've already met the romantic partner you see. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull for the next one. Codependency. Addictions are afflicting or affecting your romantic life. Pay attention to the red flags. Aqua. The signs are cautioning you. Release your ex, Aqua. The time has come to clear your energy. And healing family issues, Aqua. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Deep, okay? So, when I see this could be the one, I'm feeling like you guys are already with that person. I don't feel like this is new energy. I feel like this is someone, this one that we're talking about, there can be plenty of ones, but this particular one is a romantic partner that exists in your, in your energy right now that you need to heal things with. There is some codependency slash addictions there are red flags that those are possibly the red flags that are um, cautioning you to the, these addictions. Um, you also need to release an X. There is something that's happening in your energy that's triggering you um, to move forward. Okay. And you also need to heal your family issues. You have issues with tr childhood trauma, possibly. Um, let's see. I tapping in um, got that you guys were passionate, that there's some type of new creative endeavor that some of you aquas are poss possibly pouring your energy in to possibly get your mind off of this situation. Let's see. Universe, spirit, angels, and my guides, give me five cards that will repre whoa, represent the overall love energy that is surrounding my Aquarius. Yep. Heartbreak, Three of Swords. Okay. Whoa. More Swords. <laughs> Four of Swords. I can't even make this up. Shh. This is definitely somebody now. 
Show me, spirit. The magician. Um, yeah, this one is the one now, but I don't know yet. The wheel, destiny is here. Two major arcana so far in a five card energy spread. Major trend. Oh, yes, I remember what I saw. Give me a second. I knew it was something. I couldn't remember. Ooh, the same energy. Some of you guys are definitely uh, have some Geminis all up in your thing. Or Virgo. Gemini just got the same thing. Um, this is letting me know that this person definitely represents someone from your past. This is a person, a past person that you're still dealing with. Six of Cups. We are same thing. We also have the Eight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's in reverse, okay? Hold on. And then we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So before I get into these bottoms, I need to quickly tell you about what I saw. When I was uh, tapping in, it broke. There was a broken shuffle. The cards in the broken shuffle were the following. The Judgment card and the Temperance card. Okay, so... Um, there and they were. It really doesn't matter whether they reverse or not because, and I don't even remember. But the 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 shop the the deck broke. No, what is wrong with me? Death card, the death card in the Temperance card. I apologize. So we have Scorpio and Sagittarius all up in your grill. Okay. Some of you guys are definitely connecting with those two. I wanted to throw that out there. Major transformations and major conclusions. Mental clarity that some of you are coming to that may have caused this three of swords. Let's rock. So, soulmate card, reconciliation card, someone coming back from the past card with the six of cups. I feel like this person here represented in this, this could be the one, is the damn one. It's the same one. I don't feel like this is new. If for some of you guys this is new love, then this person recently hurt you. You guys have been together longer than a year. But your past is indicated by your past, but I do not feel like this is something that just happened in the last two, three months. Okay, I don't think that this card represents something that happened in the last three or four months. So I'm just saying, um, you are coming to some type of conclusion because if this was upright, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, um, Aqua, then you would be walking away from something that no longer serves you or ending something. Interestingly enough, it is in reverse. So you are choosing to avoid to do that because you have the four of swords down here in your main energy. So you're choosing to kind of sit still right now and instead of getting rid of this person that gets on your damn nerve. And you're not working together with them either. The teamwork is off, which makes no sense to me. And you know why? Because of this, darling. Codependency. This person provides you with some type of comfort, solace, something. Maybe it's a financial thing. This person is there. But they broke your heart. And you already know that. This is the heartbreak card. It's also three. I don't see anything else indicating that there was a third party. But of course, I know I'm going to get blew up in the comments saying, hey, Marvelous, yes, he cheated. So, if for some of you ladies, this heartbreak involves another person, I apologize. When I clarify, we will find out. And you are taking a rest, taking a break. Mentally, you are deciding not to do anything. You are completely blocking this out. You are not dealing with it right now. You're like, I'm going to lay down and give my mind a mental rest, okay? In that time that you're making a mental rest or taking a mental rest, we have you having the tools all in your, ars in your arsenal to manifest the ending that you like. And then we also have the Wheel of Fortune here. So this will be changing in your destiny. So you're going to manifest what you want with the magician. And the Wheel of Fortune is here. That means that there's going to be a change in fortune or this is your destiny. How do we know? Because we're ending it with the quick communication, 
the arrows of love, Cupid's arrows, whatever you want to call it. This is quick communication, fast movement, fast progress after any delay that you may have encountered. Okay, that's what I'm showing here. Now, I feel like this is a situation, again, I feel a very old type of situation. A situation that's been going round and round and round and round, okay? Um, I feel like you already know what the damn red flags is. But for some of you guys, you de definitely need to release the X. And I'm not talking about with a new person. Listen, let me put this down. I am not talking about intuitively what I am picking up. Let me just throw that out there. What I am picking up is that this person is your existing person. This is the one. You need to release this person. This is the same damn person. You're stuck doing nothing about a situation that you know you need to take action on. The Eight of Wands is indicating that you're going to take some type of action, but this is the damn person that you need to release. The same person we're talking about because that's the person who you have these uh, family issues with. You do need to possibly forgive your parents from, for some type of childhood trauma. This person, however, you need to release because that is the person that is causing this trouble. And the red flags that you need to deal with is the codependency on this person when really this is how you're feeling. You're not happy. It's a habit. I'm not too keen on that word. It's because I, I don't believe in people being habits. But that's the best way for me to break it down for you to understand it. And Aqua, only you know because, um, you know, as a water sign, we have issues with letting go. But we will say that. <laughs> so... A lot of the times with the way the and the lens in which we we process love is a little bit different. Um, so this feels like this is what is a codependency. It's an addiction. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're somewhere and you have this person in the syringe and you're shooting them up in your veins. No, be creative. <laughs> Um, but I believe that the habit, the bad habit is the codependency. It came out. Okay. Let's clarify. Get you out of here. Universe spirit, angels, and my guides, please provide me clarity on why this three of swords is here. Thank you. Because the two of swords is here. Blocked emotions. There was a decision. The, the, deci the decision is to leave this person. So you didn't make any progress. You got the two to the three to the four. That's what you did. You basically went from being in a situation where you have two decisions, one or two, and you are completely cutting it off and not looking at it. Then you went to the three. That that breaks your heart or there was a physical heartbreak or all, all of that. And then we moved to the four. I'm just blocking this out. I'm, I'm not doing anything. Let me show you this. I can't even make it up. Your energy is pulling the two and the three. Why are you unhappy and stuck in this? Look at that. This is the main energy that's clarifying. Explain this to me, Aqua. Okay? So you're choosing to block your emotions out. To block this heartbreak out. Because of this. Did you see my face? That's what you were doing. Then you graduated to the four. So you blocked out the emotions, don't want to deal with the decision, and then we go to blocking out. Now you're quietly contemplating and preparing. You know that there's trials that's going to come, but now you need some peace mentally. You're thinking things over. You're choosing just to not to do anything. I'm going to just gain a better perspective and take a break and, and avo avoid... There's that word. I don't want to deal with this. I know what I, I got to do. You know, whatever, whatever. Okay? Taking time to, taking time to think, think things over. This is taking no action. Okay? 
So I wanted you to see that. How that's all in your energy. Let me know if it resonates. Why is this four of swords here, spirit? Why is the four of swords here? I better not get the three of swords. I'm going to literally run out of my door. <laughs> Why is the four of swords here? Why is the four of swords here, spirit? Why, please? I promise you, Aqua. I bet not get it. Why? What was that? I was about to say. Let me shuffle. <laughs> I swear, you guys. I bet not. Really? Okay. I'll buy it. Three cards. Pisces energy with the moon. What is in the dark would not be revealed in the light. Fluctuating emotions, illusions, fantasies, not being truthful. Well, that's what you were doing while you were in the, you know, because you were thinking about this two of cups, thinking about the connection. Thinking about the love loss. Thinking about how you want balance. This is everything that you were going through and what you were thinking about while you were in this four of swords. And how you want justice. Leave your energy here. Oh, that was Pisces card as the moon. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the two of cups. And then justice. So you were thinking about how you wanted karmic justice. And okay, I'll give you all of this. I just better not have seen. Once you come out of this break, the good thing is, is that we know that you are manifesting now. Okay. Let's see. Clarify the magician. Why is the magician here? Clarify the magician spirit. Show me. Clarify the magician. Cycle. So now we have three cards. The magician, the wheel of fortune, and the world. Okay. So we have cycles ending, new cycles beginning. You manifesting into a new cycle. You understanding that this is a cycle. You're coming into reality with the fact that you can manifest. Taking power um, and, and, and stepping. I'm sorry, not taking power. Stepping into your power to manifest. So you can change the course of your destiny. Or take control of your destiny. Juggling. That's juggling your emotions. That's clarifying your will. You wanted the, the fortune to change. Okay. Clarify this eight of wands. The ace of cups. Fast communication. But there's an overabundance of love here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, um, Aqua. Oh, look at the bottom of the deck. This person is wish fulfillment. Moving forward like the emperor, but you have come into, there's the three. It's in reverse though, so I'm not going to call it. This is my three. Um, you're no longer feeling like the wounded warrior anymore with this nine of wands, okay? So, this is the one. This person provides wish fulfillment for you. You are in love with this person. And there's going to be some forward movement. Aries energy here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Ace of Cups is clarifying the quick communication. So, as I stated, as I stated, there has been some heartbreak here. The, the red flags are here. There's a possibility that, you know, you understand that you needed to release this person. But I just don't think you're going to do it. I think what you're going to do is work on that. I don't think that you're going to leave this person. And that's completely your call. Your clarifying energy and your top energy kind of matches. All of the energies kind of go together. There will be justice, but the quick communication, the Cupid's arrows, you had and realized that you had the power. But when you manifested, you just manifested a new start. 
You didn't manifest a release. So that wasn't what you wanted to do. Now, I'm not yelling and screaming or judging. What I'm saying is what my cards are telling me. So what I want you to understand is, is one thing about the power of manifestation. Be careful, for, be careful what you wish for. What you have to understand is, is that if you take this person into this new cycle with you, Aqua, make sure that you like them. And also, you have to understand also that with the world card, the will of fortune, and the magician being here, you were given a great gift to release. And if for some of you guys, the group that are um, afraid to release and manifest a new beginning elsewhere because of this codependency card, what happens? And I'm just here as a messenger. Do not shoot me. Hands up, don't shoot. What's going to happen is, is that if the lessons have not been learned from this world card, when this wheel turns and brings forth what's supposed to be what the universe is nudging you into walking into your destiny for and about. If that does not happen, if those lessons are not learned, then it's going to be a vicious cycle. And you would have uh, squandered your ability to manifest a new beginning just to manifest a new beginning with the same person but learn the same lessons over and over again. Now, Aquarius, what do we know? About what do we know about the definition of insanity? <laughs> it's doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting a different outcome. So if you go into this situation with a brand new set of eyes and your person goes into this situation with a brand new perspective and you manifest this person back, absolutely your call and I wish you the best. There is success here, but only if lessons are learned. For those of you who simply used and squandered your manifestation skills to stay in a relationship because you were afraid to be by yourself, well, your destiny um, is going to be delayed because you're going to continue to learn the same lessons over and over again until you release them. And for others of you, if you, if you, like I said, um, you're going like I've given you the first scenario, which is. You guys are both on a good foot, committed, and deciding to walk forward together, and that's the price you're going to take. Others of you, this person didn't change. The heartbreak still exists. You just don't want to let them go because whatever your reasons is in this codependency card. And then the last bunch of you, you're going to allow, this is over. This is over, um, and when you manifest it, you accepted the fact that you love this person, you understand you understood that yes cuz that what that's what clarified it the love is what drew you into the conclusion this ace of cups is what drew you to the conclusion that you needed to manifest a new beginning because you really did need to release this person okay you no longer want the codependency yes this is your one but every you, we're not supposed to be with every soulmate this was that soulmate that was supposed to come in and teach you a lesson and then chuck the deuces. So that's your reading, Aquarius. I certainly hope it resonated. Go ahead, like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Please follow me on my social media platforms that are listed below in the description box. Go ahead and let me know whether this resonates with you. I want to hear from you. You already know how we get down over here on the Marvelous Show, okay? I will see you guys back here as we examine the love energy that surrounds you in the mid-month love period. Until then, I will see you later. Bye, Aquarius.